All right, so I'm gonna talk about uh, non-code contributions to Kubernetes. One thing we find is we're always talking about developers, 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 code, 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 developers around the world. Uh, but without non-code contributions, these projects uh, can't move forward. Uh, if you don't know this, Steve Ballmer, he's also known as the sweatiest man alive. So how many of you contribute to Kubernetes? Okay, so we have a few in the crowd. What I want to do today is show you that you probably actually do already contribute to Kubernetes, you just don't know it yet. Uh, so who am I? My name is Dave Strabel. I'm a cloud native architect uh, at, on micro, at Microsoft. Uh, I also just recently co-authored Kubernetes best practices book uh, and worked on the release team for Kubernetes. So if we look at contributions, they come in many different forms, from project management, uh, reporting issues that we run into, everything from community education and advocacy. So writing blog posts, educating other users, getting in the Kubernetes Slack channel and helping other users. So that being said, how many now say they contribute to Kubernetes? All right, so we have a lot more. So the rest of the talk, I'll show you how you can start contributing back. Uh, first, I wanna talk about some examples of non-code contributors. Uh, so we have George Castro. Uh, he's most known for Kub Kubernetes office hours, so it's a hour show, uh, I think it's bi-weekly, uh, where you can come in, ask questions of other uh, community members. Uh, Paris Pittman, she does tons and tons of work within uh, contributor experience for Kubernetes, and she's also a meetup organizer for the Bay Area. Uh, Steven Augustus, he has three pictures, because I'm pretty sure he figured out how to clone himself. He is actually a chair on four or five different uh, special interest group. Uh, he also does a lot with release management and project management. Karen Chu, you may know her, or you probably know of, a illustrated children's guide to Kubernetes. Uh, she also works a lot in the Helm community, uh, organizing events and meetups. Uh, Elena here, I got the privilege to work with on the Kubernetes release team. Uh, she's a software engineer and she loves uh, being involved in SIG release. So why should you cr contribute to Kubernetes? Is it for fame? No, there's no fame in open source. Sorry to tell you that, except Kelsey Hightower, he may be famous. Um, maybe it's to pay it forward. Many of times people have helped me so much and to be able to help out other members uh, is a way, great way to contribute back. Uh, getting a deeper level knowledge of the pr actual project, how releases are done within Kubernetes. Uh, learning new skills, this is one I took away from being on the release team. Uh, to have fun. Uh, do this to really have fun. That's why I found it was actually fun doing this. It, was, it didn't feel like a job. So a little on my story, how I got started. Uh, this guy here, his hair's a little longer now. But he said, hey, you should join the and shadow the release team. And that is me. <laughs> I love that slide. Uh, so the first thing was fear. You're going to feel fear when you go through this. Uh, it's a natural human reaction. Uh, you know, what if I make a mistake in the pro uh, process? Uh, I don't know where to get started. There's tons of help out there. Uh, so when I joined the release team, I had excitement, but also fear at the same time. But what I found was there was a huge community out there to help you. Everybody in this community is great, and I think that's why Kubernetes is so special is because of the, commu the Kubernetes community that's there to help you. Uh, so if you wanna get started with non-code contributions, uh, this is a short link uh, to the non-contributors guide. It's really good, goes in depth of all the different things you can do from non-contributions. Uh, again, my name's Dave Strabel. Uh, you can connect with me on Twitter at Dave underscore Strabel. Uh, if you ever have questions, feel free to reach out to me. My DMs are always open. Thank you.